The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello. Good to see everyone today. I wanted to talk today about a, a particular type of book that I have been getting a lot of feedback for in my large print surveys. So I know there's a lot of people who enjoy uh, large print books and many of them ask for, well, we get a lot of uh, requests for Westerns, for humor, for all kinds of different books. But the, the thing that struck me, I was, I was putting in the surveys yesterday, and one of the things that struck me is that a lot of people really enjoy Amish fiction. So I wanted to expand on that uh, enjoyment and that genre, that's great. We have a lot of them in print. And one of the things you can do, of course, is search the catalog. You can see, as always, the uh, Nioga homepage is up in front of us. And we can search all libraries and all fields. I can click once in the box and search for Amish fiction. And you can see here, wow, uh, for Amish fiction in particular, we have 2,191 results. Now, these results include, remember our limiters over here, uh, there are books, large print, uh, there's ebooks, which is what I want to talk about, audio discs, which would be CDs and things you can listen to, and uh, playaways and more. So we do have a lot of Amish fiction books within our system, which is great. And one of the things too, like I mentioned earlier, what I want to talk about specifically are uh, more of the e-books and where you would find those and uh, what you might, uh, how you might use them. And especially with a, a particular focus on large print. First off, let me go ahead. I'm going to click on ebook, that particular limiter. So while we're right here in the catalog, um, it says there are 315 results found. Hmm, okay, so here we are. We are in the ebooks in particular of uh, Amish fiction, that format. And uh, we have here a patchwork, a story of plain people, blind man's lantern. Mm, okay, it says it's Amish fiction, all right. Uh, love still stands, a heart once broken, plain as day. Hmm, okay. Um, a Christmas morning. Okay, and uh, the excerpt right here says an Amish mystery short story. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I want to know a little bit more about this, so I'm going to click right on the title. Here is the record that comes up, uh, an Amish mystery short story, and you can see here the author is Laura Bradford. That's always very uh, convenient to know the author, so you can find more books, of course, by that author, and you can search instead of just by Amish fiction. Maybe you want to look for more Laura Bradford. You can always do a search there. And as we scroll through this, it gives you the whole description. This is great. All right, so the publisher, the date it was published, the format. And now I'm, I'm a little confused here because it does say unavailable here. Hmm, hmm. It says it's in here, but it says it's unavailable. Let's find out what's going on. And, and fortunately, this is pretty easy to do. So we know it's specifically called here a Christmas morning. So it's M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G um, by Laura Bradford, a Christmas morning. So now I know which one I'm particularly interested in. I am going to go back to, uh, I'm gonna click the little house here to go back to the home page of the Nioga Library System. I'm gonna go straight over here where it says download eBooks, audiobooks, and more. When I do that, it opens up a brand new tab. And of course, um, the best thing for you to do whenever you go uh, to directly to our eBooks, audiobooks, and that um, through OverDrive is always to sign in with your library card number and its PIN. That way we'll know uh, what's actually available for us. So let me go ahead and click sign in. Oh, and you don't need a PIN number. Just sign in with your library card number. As soon as I sign in, I'm redirected right back to the home page. And since I know I am interested in a Christmas morning, I am going to go directly to the magnifying glass to search. 
and it doesn't matter. Capitalization doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put in Christmas morning. Remember it's spelled morning like sad. Before I can even get the whole thing in, Christmas morning actually autofills here. So I'm gonna click right on that little result right underneath where I was typing. And it says here, we couldn't find any matches for Christmas morning, even though it filled. Hmm. Well, there's a couple other places we have collections. So let's take a look. I'm gonna actually close this particular tab and go back to the Nyoga home tab. <laughs> uh, so we have the down, the overdrive, the blue here, download eBooks, audiobooks, and more. All right, and then we have Hoopla. Let's check Hoopla. All right, so we're gonna skip over Libby because that's for magazines. I thought it might be for other things. It's not. All right, Hoopla. When you first go to Hoopla, you do have to sign up for an account. Again, I do have a video on that. I will go ahead and, and try and find that again and link it in the description. Um, but what I really wanna look for is a Christmas morning. So right up here in the search box for Hoopla, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look for it. So I click once and it gives me these trending searches down there, that's fine. And when I search for Hoopla, because there's a lot of Christmas things, uh, I get 7,324 results for Christmas morning. Hmm. There's one other place that this might be, or one other um, possibility for this particular book. It may be available for uh, a particular library, and I wouldn't know unless I had that library's uh, card. So, that's okay. This is a little weird. I couldn't find it. It's not, all is not lost. Let me go and look for other Amish fiction, okay? So I've gone through the whole kind of process and I'm like, mm, can't find it. All right, hang on. We're not dead yet, hang on. Going right back to our Nyoga homepage, I'm gonna go here directly to where it says download eBooks, audiobooks, and more. Since I had already signed into my account looking for a Christmas morning, I will, I don't have to sign in again. What I will do is I will click on the search icon here and in this little search bar here, I will look for Amish fiction. For Amish fiction here, it says we're, they're showing results one through 24 of 93 results for Amish fiction. Hmm, okay, cool. Just scrolling through here, I can see. Now, you do wanna be careful. For example, here, this very first one called The Amish Wedding or An Amish Wedding is actually an audio book. A lot of people like listening to books and things like that, and that's great. Um, I would prefer not listening, like it shows the headphones there. I would prefer actually the ebook simply to read. Okay, so one of the things is I wanna make sure that I don't get any audio books but I'm still curious now because there's still 93 results. Also, what I can do is sort by uh, different things. So I can sort by popularity, relevance, that's how it normally comes up, release date, title, author, date added, or popularity by library. I'm gonna go by title. And with the title, um, it starts, of course, with A to Z by title. When I look here, A to Z by title, I still do not see uh, Christmas morning. Uh, there's a Christmas courtship, a change of heart, coffee corner, uh, complicated kind of, so it would be in here somewhere. So I'm not sure where that is. It's a mystery. We'll have to, it really is a mystery because it was a short story mystery. <laughs> but what if we are interested in one of these that happen to be available? Let me just pick on these two since they're right here in front of us. And uh, one is on the wait list. So an Amish quilting bee uh, by Amy Clipston is on the wait list, meaning that it is not available right now. If I were really interested in reading this, what I would do is of course click on the, actually right here, I can click right on the link that says place a hold. I can, uh, it says success. I My hold position, I'm number one on the holds. The email will be sent where it needs to go. Great. Now, what if I clicked on that on accident? Remember, everything is fixable because I, I don't actually, it's cute, but I don't think I want this. I'm gonna go directly right now to manage my holds so I can actually remove or cancel that hold. When I go to manage my holds, 
I can edit the email address where the hold notification will go to. I can suspend the hold. Now remember, suspending the hold means that I simply put the hold on pause uh, if I'm going on vacation or something happens and you know, that's fine. I can suspend the hold and then I can unsuspend the hold when I come back and then get right back in line basically for the book. Or what I'd like to do is actually remove the hold entirely. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the X to remove. Are you sure? Yes and now I don't have any titles on hold. Great. I'm gonna use my back button and back up to the last page. And here we, write, here we are, uh, right back at the Amish Quilting Bee, and then right here, uh, the Amish Nanny and uh, is available. You can see that there in blue. And uh, if I don't want to learn anything more about the book, I can simply go straight to the borrow link. But if I'd like to find out a little bit more, like kind of basically flip the book over and read the back of it, I would click right on the title and I'll scroll down a little bit and you can see here we have the description and it does tell me it is uh, book two in the Women of Lancaster County series. Hmm. So maybe I, maybe I wanna actually find book one. All right, let me back up again. And right next door to it here, we have The Amish Midwife. It is by the same authors here, you can see. So if I click again on the cover, this tells me right here, the Women of Lancaster County series, book one, and uh, there's two of two copies available. I can go ahead and read the description and I can certainly borrow it if I like. Also, when you're dealing with series, it looks like there's actually, when I move my mouse over this, there's a link, it says the Women of Lancaster County series. So if I wanna see the books in the series, I bet I can click that link. Sure enough, when I click the link, one, two, three in the series. So again, let's say that I want the book. I can click it. I can click borrow and it will give me a choice. I can borrow for seven or 14 days. I'll borrow for seven. And when I borrow, it will give me a choice. I can either read now uh, with my Kindle app or I can read now right in my browser or I can actually uh, download the book to my device and uh, read it through the Libby app. Let's say I actually wanna read it right now in my browser. What I'm gonna do is click read now in browser. When I click that, the book pops up right here on my computer and I always have my navigation bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse on the cover of the book and click once and you can see the pages kind of slide as if you're, you're turning pages. So I click through until I find here the, the start of the book, which is there the prologue. And if I like this uh, font size, I can leave it alone. But as always, if I want to adjust the font size, I look for the letter A in my navigation bar. I can click it once and I will get my text scale. I can change the lighting. I can actually change the type of font that's there. And when I'm done with everything that I wanna do, so I made the font bigger, I will click back here on the page and I believe it did make it bigger. It should've. Actually, let me make it really tiny. Oh, there it goes, now it's really tiny. <laughs> okay, so it definitely made it a, a bit bigger. There we go, okay? So I can always change the size of the font at any point and uh, go ahead and get a larger print font if I like. I hope you found this interesting. Um, I certainly did. I'm sorry we didn't find that other book, but it's a mystery. We'll find it at some point. Take care. Bye now.